cell phone cam. Woo. Yeah, just went out and saw Iron Man 2. Yeah, I don't know if you can make that out with the uh, crappy resolution of this camera. But anyways, Iron Man 2 is a... of the overall story. That, or if you've read the comic books and or seen the television programs tailoring to the character of Iron Man, a.k.a. Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr. Now, the overall premise of the actual plot this time around is the government wants to take Iron Man. Well, not so much Iron Man as the Iron Man suit, a.k.a. the Mark I, or the Mark II, or the Mark III. Too many suits. Too hard to count. Okay, let's move on. Well, anyways, basically the government wants to take one of the take the suits from Tony Stark and use them for some kind of military purposes. Well, anyways, basically the movie goes on, goes on, goes on. He basically ends up keeping the Iron Man suit. Yada yada yada. Some Russian guy shows up, all piss ass, angry, and everything. Starts smashing up a racetrack, and well, pretty much. Gets beaten by Iron Man, obviously. And basically, this is your main villain. He because later on he comes back with a vengeance. Later on, the character Iron not character Iron Man, but the, the character War Machine is actually introduced later on in the film. Now, War Machine is basically just the a modified Iron Man suit filtered with several, several weapons, beyond compare, and yeah, totally kick-ass film. The action sequences are far that much more interesting in this film, because there are much more intense enemies that are being fought in this film. Now, I did the first film, yeah, it set up the whole premise. This film kind of sets up leading to plausibly what's going on and also links well with the first one, so I'd suggest that you see the first one before going into seeing this one. So basically, go out and get it like a DVD version of the uh, the first Iron Man film, or Blu-ray if you're so hard set on that, and basically go out and watch the movie. Either rent it or buy it, doesn't really matter. Now anyways, basically, after you've seen it, and if you liked the first one, you'll definitely love the second one. Now, I'd strongly suggest sitting through the credits, because there is a little clip that appears after the credits which leaves a hint at their plausible being a sequel. I'm not going to go into too much depth, but let's just say there's a giant crater. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, awesome flick. It's totally strongly suggested. If you love the first Iron Man, go ahead and see it. If not, uh, well, stay at home and uh, go watch something else. Alright, until next time, Thor, setting off.